Hey, hey, what's up, you guys? It's Sonny Kasi here again. Um, this is my vlog about today. Um, so this year, 2023, um, we have our um, development league development camp at Kubin for our little people. And yeah, so this is a vlog about my day. This is day one of the um, league development camp. So this is us on our way to Kubin, as you can see there. Had my coffee early start for us. This is us driving into Kubin. For those of you the Nosabe, um, this is Mawa Island, and we got two communities, Kubin and Sempong. So yeah, oh, that's the airstrip there. So yeah, um, don't forget. To, I know it's been a minute, you guys, but um, keep the subscribers coming, the love, sharing, and the comments. Keep it coming. But yeah, so here we go. Here we are driving in we're Kubin ya now driving in got all our school ki our kids um, very excited for today this is day one of the um, rugby league development camp for 2023 so this is us driving in Kubin this is Kubin community Yellow Mo Island wow. so so me play are heading to the public hall community hall to join the rest of the teams the other kids and their supervisors this is the kids jumping out of the bus and we're joining the others um for breakfast we got another um island community kids become from the western clusters um mobi agbadu obviously history plus st paul kubin and top western you got duan and buigo so this is everybody else you're joining for breakfast uh, st paul kids they're lining up we had breakfast well, yeah, now because I stand up, wait for we go head down to the school, to the school oval where everything's gonna happen. So, this is us just killing time, waiting after we had our breakfast. All other kids here yeah, playing with their footballs, all excited, ready to go. But yeah, so it was a good day today. Um, well, besides the weather, but it was good. So, this is us now walking to the primary school, Yabe Kubin. <coughs> All the other kids. So this is us walking. It's starting to rain, so we'll be small enough to run there. Go. Cool. So that's the start to our day. So yeah, it started pouring down a bit, so we had to go under the undercover area just to wait until the rain stopped. So this is us here you know, hiding under the undercover area. So that's all the kiddies and their supervisors. So yeah, leg the camera dunk. Um, waiting for the rain to stop so yeah this is really good um, for our children our young ones coming up with football uh, everybody loves footy up this way so you know so yeah so they called all the kids to go assemble under the undercover area and um, bro they're just giving a br brief debriefing of our day and what's gonna happen um, explaining what's wow well, about every, um, everything and the whole camp itself wow well. and you've got the coaches they become on top all the officials they're just going through what exactly we're going to be doing so I'll just explain there we go I think we're doing uh, we go do all drills all attack attacking drills defense offense um, wow so that's just a little demonstration there for the kids on what's going to be happening so we're doing all this while it's raining so we wait for the rain kill your time for the rain so you know we're not gonna let that dampen our spirits but yeah there we go and this activity was a little icebreaker they're passing the ball around to all the other kids and i'll introduce them myself where one community will be come from um yeah and just passing the ball around to all the kids and all the supervisors so that was a really good icebreaker and you know take about the shame everybody always shame one so it was good it was a good little um activity just to pass the time but yeah so that's them there and um so we're ready to go now the rain be stopped now so we're heading out to the um the school oval as you can see there everybody's heading out to the school oval <coughs> putting their bags down and um we will get right into our first um, activity, which was well. That's everybody putting the footy boots on first. Wow. It was really good today. 
again like everybody got into it got family support all the parents the grandparents came along families that could be in it was good so this is everybody getting re- warmed up I'll get the, um, them officials there we get them to do a little um, warming up exercises um, I think they had to they probably have to choose one NRL team and the mascot and they will pretend to one them imitate the mascot so I think this one been I forgot what this one was I think it was Panthers so we'll crawl was the Panther I think I think it was I can't remember now but yeah it was good this one was the oh my gosh I don't even know what it was I think it was sharks because they're imitating fins wow I think <laughs> wow so yeah got them doing that just to get started and for this one yeah now I think they looking I'll try for figure out for make a for the dolphins the new team so hence why they're trying to do fins I think but yeah so they next activity yeah we're doing uh like a like stuck in the mud but all got some students got football and you know, I'll have to tag them one all get stuck and then obviously once they're stuck in the mud you have to go under the legs but they just do a high five and yeah so this is them just running around a little with um, this game stuck in the mud as you can see there so we got under under 11s and under 6s um, age age group one so yeah this is all the kids having run around they're stuck in the mud game which is good it's good fun also good icebreaker to them getting to know her sis they make a peace sign and <clears throat> wow so that activity was done now they they had to pair up with a partner from another school or community they introduce themselves and then we'll play this small activity where the instructor there as you can see will call their heads shoulders and then they have to try and race and grab the markers from in the middle with them as you can see there so yeah this is another good activity that they did and getting to know each other which was good Yeah, that's them doing another activity now. I can't remember what this one was. I think it was another one of those warm-up ones. I think, pretty sure. <coughs> oh, actually, this one now, it was it's kind of like um what's that game? Um Well, you know how you got Bull Rush and all that. Yeah, it was that game. Probably one name of that one. Anyway, this was this game. It was pretty good. And if they got stuck there to pretend to be um seaweed or damu and um, wow. Red Rover that's the name. Oh my gosh. Anyway, so it started raining again so we had to go back under the undercover area as you can see. We hide from the rain again. And then you know, and morning tea is served. We had fruit and muesli muesli bars which was good. As the kids there lining up now. So the rain become just in time for our morning tea so wow. Uh, so yeah, the stem they're lining up, the stem munching out on their fruit and muesli bars. Some sample kids there and then we went back outside again after the rain stopped and then they got right into their next um activities. That's the under 6s there. The little people there and the other group there that's the under 11s. And they all be one time get into um doing drills as you can see they were so yeah this them they getting into it she's good and again there so they're doing the their little drills there Oh, it was good to see all the kids like we thought all was shame from each other but now they got into it and they uh, made friends and which was good it was good to see wow so that's them yeah, they doing their drills i could do another food vlog again food tutorials i've got a few requests i'll get to it guys i've just been a bit busy lately so 
but I'll get to it. Okay, and uh, here we go. The next one is these are the under sixes doing their little activity on the side there, doing drills as well. So that's everyone here. Yep, that's them there, still going with the drills with them. Plot. And um, wow, that's good. That's another activity they all will do. Um, wow, and the under six is there with their little activity. And then with this one now, guys, um, they had to catch the biggest bomb or the kick. So that, as you can see there, you fall mess all out and then you go advance to the next round. So yeah, that's them there catching all the bombs or well, some misses, but it's okay. There they go. Yeah, and so, yep, that's a good one. So when they advance for the next round, they step to the side until everybody goes through and then they do the next round and so on until we had a winner which was a boy from Badu I think it was we win he was really good catching all the big kicks the big bomb kicks wow them two girls there from St. Paul trying their best even though some of them be dropped but they still had fun um, doing it you know so it was good none of them been was there sulk or anything which was good so yeah they all had fun so yeah that's this activity yeah now all make him catching all the bombs oh unlucky there i think she goes again and then kiss the second one oh no it's another one now got it good one okay and those this is like the next round now then ones will be kissing the bomb so they all kick more higher now for them plan catch them big kick wow so then when they're on the side them plow out obviously as you can see so they're just chilling out now i think after and we're gonna head over to the undercover area for lunch now so for lunch we had sandwiches which is good and also assorted sandwiches egg sandwich ham and cheese wow so it was good so we went out to have our sandwich for lunch and of course we did pray before we eat so as we do wow and then after that after lunch they were just playing around kicking the ball to each other waiting for the next instructions for the next um activity wow so you can see they're all just um playing kicking the balls around having fun in the rain it started raining a bit again but that didn't stop them <laughs> good word and yeah and this one yeah now we're all getting into a um, group photo camp photo for the 2023 development camp so that's them they're just getting in for a big group photo with all the with everyone and the supervisors wow so the under sixes are ready to go now for their little game of oz tag they're putting on their oz tag um yeah, and the, these are the under um, 11s doing more drills, practicing um, with their dummy half and oh, that's the under 6s there playing their little game of Oz tag. While well, the under 11s are now doing their offense and defense and practicing dummy half and two passes before putting tries and whatnot. But yeah, so they're just um, they're doing that, which is good. Oh, intercept there you got right so that's them there doing that under 11s that's good that's good and now the under 11s now getting ready to do <coughs> their 1m Oztag game so everybody's having fun even though it was raining on and off we still had fun for our first day so which is good and this is us now getting in the bus ready to head back to St. Paul we all had a good day it was a long day but it was a good day you know so it was good so we're packing up and we're hitting the road back to SPM so everyone so yeah bye Kubin bye Kubin school thank you for the today it was fun I'll try and do a vlog of um 
the next two days. Um, I'll try anyway. But um, yeah, so this was day one of the league development camp. Wow. So this is hitting the highway back to St. Paul. So we're all in the bus. We're all sweaty. We're all exhausted. But we had fun. So heading home. Then we got to get back to St. Paul. Oh, this is us in the bus listening to a bit of music. Having fun. <laughs> yes. Just having fun. So that's us on the road. Back to St. Paul. So the rain cleared off a bit. So it was a bit overcast still. But we clear up just a bit with the rain. But it was good. Bit of scenery there. As we're driving into St. Paul now. This is us. And we're going to start drop off the kids. And um, head home. Oh, yes. It was a good day. Long day. But I need my coffee. Afternoon coffee. And put my feet up. <laughs> but yeah. We had a good day. Um, today. At the league development camp. So we're dropping up the first kid. There you go. Bye. <laughs> dropping him off. Making sure she goes home. She didn't want to leave. She wanted to still play. Um, Anyway, dropping off the rest of the children to their parents. As you can see there, this is St. Paul. So, yeah, enjoying the aircon ride at the moment, which is nice. But, yeah, so here we go, dropping off the next kid, a lot of kids. So, they're jumping out of the bus, saying bye, jumping out. Thank you. Right, next lot of kids. Let's go. Here we go. So tomorrow, I think um, we've got an, another early start. We've got Color Fun Run in the morning at 6 o'clock. So we've got a very early start tomorrow. Anyway, it's going to be fun. So here, dropping off another lot of kids. As you can see there. Bye. They had fun. They look exhausted. But yeah, they had fun. Bye. And we go on the road again to drop off the next next kid to their house. And we go. This the other supervisors there. We all went over with the children today. So yeah, dropping off another one. There we go. Jumping out. Bye. <laughs> had fun. Had fun. And now we're going to head off to... We're, we're heading off to drop the other supervisor off to her house. Um, but you go look there. We go small. Pit stop at the shop. Get some small junks. And um, I needed a can of Coke for a bit of sugar rush. Sugar boost. So, yeah. This is at the Ibis. My can of Coke there. Cheers. Yeah. Uh, Small sugar boost for the afternoon. This is the last lot of kids to drop off. Uh, here we go. We drop off the one of our supervisors at her house. As you can see, that she didn't expect this um, shot to happen. <laughs> but yeah, dropping off Miss there at her house, and then the last kid. So thanks, guys, for watching. That was my day. Um, yeah, subscribe, like, share, comments. Yeah, peace.